Hey people, hope everyone's having a fantastic day. It's a beautiful day here in Merritt with a clear blue, beautiful bright sky. And uh, the sun is starting to set. And I wanted to make a quick video and uh, something dawned on me. I was taking a, a bit of a road trip, picking up the family. Uh, they were on vacation and I went to go pick them up. And long, nice long drive. Something started to manifest in thoughts. Positive. I wanted to say, I was thinking of my dad, and there was one thing my dad was really good at. He was an absolute master at this, and it was engaging in conversation with strangers. It doesn't matter where we were, if we're at the Home Depot, if we were over at a Lowe's, if we were over at a food place, if we were sitting at a park. It doesn't matter where we were, what who we were with, what we were talking to, or what the situation was. My dad always engaged in conversation with people. And 99.99% of the time, several minutes later, my dad and the people were laughing and having a good time. Now, statistically, if you start looking into it, you start noticing that people that engage in conversation with total strangers start or live happier lives. And it's like 40, 50% happier life. This isolation that we've been going through and this isolation that we've, that we've been put through has created this mass divide between us. And I do that a lot too. When people walk into my store, I'm always engaged in conversation passing through, enjoying the weather, any big plans for the weekend, or you're on your way to the interior. Oh, and if it's people I've known, repeat customers, it's been a while. How's the family doing? Um, is you still working at so-and-so? I think that if more and more people, because we've been so isolated, I think it would make somebody's day, a lot of people's day, a lot of people would feel appreciated knowing that they're being spoken to. Statistically, if you speak to strangers, let's say once, twice, if you're in a big city, three times, even just acknowledge someone sitting down, uh, you know, sitting at the, sitting on a bus shelter and they're holding this, like maybe a beautiful cake, this beautiful made cake. It doesn't hurt. Hey, wow. Whose birthday is that? Whose birthday is that? Or is it a birthday? What are you guys celebrating? Oh, that's so good. I'm, yeah, oh, that's great. You know, that's engaging. They want to divide us more and more. They want to separate us more and more. They want to create this unbalancedness. But the more that we engage with each other, we are vessels. We give off energy. We are constantly giving off energy. You know what I'm talking about. When you go to a wake, somebody passed away. You go say your goodbyes to them. They're lying there in the coffin. But you realize something. They're gone. You don't feel the energy from them. You don't feel the connection anymore with them. You don't feel it's just a, an empty capsule inside the, um, the casket. Their bodies are an empty vessel. You notice it. Once you walk next to the body, you'll notice, oh, he's not here anymore. I think it's important. I think it's crucial that we, you know, nod and say hi. I nod and say hi, and at times some people look at me um, aggressively, and I just, whatever. But I think if we engage more, if you could engage with two to three strangers per day on a positive note. Hey man, wow, your, sh your shoes look pretty cool. Where'd you, where'd you pick them up? Hey, what's going on with that? Oh, hey, I see you waiting for the bus. How long you been waiting for? You know, I think... That will make a lot of people's day. Start engaging with strangers because 98% of people out there are good hearted. 98% of people out there want what you want in life. Happiness and comfort. Anyways, I don't know. I don't know if I'm making any sense here. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. Um, let me know what you guys think. Mike Martin's here. I have spoken.